Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Ibrahim Hanbal. I am a teacher handling three eyes and in this video we'll be going over one of the problem analysis tools, specifically business process reengineering. So what is business process reengineering? It is a tool meant to redesign or reengineer a business process with the use of technology in order to address a problem. So the idea here is that we have a problem that we're trying to solve in our process and we will uh, restructure, we will redesign our process from the ground up with the use of a technology or a uh, IT tool. So uh, in this case, we are uh, also trying to address a problem, but this time we are focusing on how we can address it with the use of technology. So how is the business process reengineering done? Well, we simply think of a problem, we think of a tool to address that problem, and we describe how that tool will address the problem in a paragraph form. So you don't need to um, you do not need to create any diagrams or charts or tables. You can simply describe your business process reengineering in a paragraph format. So uh, before we do that, let us uh, select a problem and how we'll address it. So in this case, I'll reuse the same problem that we used for the uh, cause and effect analysis. That is garbage disposal. And under garbage disposal, we have three uh, specific problems, so increasing amount of waste, waste is scattered in the streets, and waste is not properly collected and disposed of. So, how can we address these issues using a tool? So, business process reengineering. Let us think first now of the tool. So, let's say our tool, um, in order to address the amount of waste, we will come up or we will create a, a waste management tracker. There. So this will be our tool now. It is a tool that will allow you to track waste. So uh, now that we have our tool, let us describe how this tool will be used. So we, we plan to utilize the waste management tracker, waste management tracker to monitor and predict how much waste will be produced produced during uh, specific events, seasons, or uh, festivals, we could say, during the year, uh, uh, at various times in the year. There we go. So. We will utilize the waste management tracker to monitor and predict how much waste will be, will be produced during specific events, seasons, or festivals at various times in the year. So this is how our uh, supposed waste management tracker will function. Now, how will this benefit our clients? How will this benefit the people of Baguio? So uh, let us try to describe that. Uh, the concern, let's, let's talk about it from the perspective from the officials who will use this tool most likely or the people who will use this tool so the concerned officials concerned officials and parties can then use this tool to plan ahead and address spikes or increases in the amount of garbage disposed. So uh, here we describe how our supposed tool will help the uh, different, let's say, barangays or the different agencies which handle waste management. So the concerned officials and parties can then use this tool to plan ahead and address spikes or increases in the amount of garbage disposed. So since our tool can predict, they can now determine, okay, this these areas will have the most amount of garbage at this time of the year. So we will allocate more personnel, more resources, more uh, funds to this area in order to address the increase in garbage. So something like that. That is how our tool can help the uh, concerned uh, clients or parties in Baguio. 
And let us describe the tool itself, how, it, how will it work. So the tool can then forecast, or it can forecast rather, how new students, migrants, and tourists change that and tourists staying in Baguio will change or affect how trash is managed or how much garbage is disposed of okay so that's pretty much it. That is now our business process re-engineering. So we describe the tool here, or we, we name the tool first. We describe how the tool, um, or what is the purpose of the tool rather. Then we describe how it will benefit our different clients or uh, uh, beneficiaries. And we can then describe how the tool itself will be uh, used or how it can help. So this is pretty much the business process re-engineering output. You will simply describe in a short paragraph how your supposed system will address the issue. Now, I'd like to make a few things clear. Uh, first, as much as possible, do not use the same problem and the same uh, ICT tool that you guys have made in your research. So do not just reuse the problem that you worked on for your practical research and do not just reuse the same system that you used for your practical research as well you come up with a new problem to address or you can you can use the same problem but come up with a new tool that can address the issue so that's one way to do it uh, that is fine now some of you may be wondering do we have to create a new system no the system that i wrote here is again a hypothetical system I'm not asking you to create a new system from scratch or to develop a new system. This is simply an exercise on how you can use the business process re-engineering to, uh, to enhance a business process. So the system that you will create, it is again a hypothetical system. You simply describe what it can do, what its use is, etc. You don't need to actually develop it yourselves so that is what i'm asking that's that's not what i'm asking you to do what i'm asking you guys is you will use the business process re-engineering in order to um, enhance a uh, process or address an issue with the use of technology okay so i hope that is clear to everyone um, thank you very much for watching as always and have a good day